I'm here with the Dean of Washburn Culinary and Hospitality, Chef Chris Murray. So what have you brought to the curriculum here at Washburn since you've been here? I think the biggest part as far as what's going on at Washburn is that um, now we're really plugged into the industry. And so with my relationships and our focus on partners um, as far as our college to careers program, it's really pushed the program a little bit further as far as placement of our students. I'm here with Emmanuel Cartana, and he is actually a hospitality student here at Washburn Culinary, and it's part of their new hospitality program that they just added. So you want to do hospitality, what specifically? In the managerial sector of hospitality. Anything that will have to do with guest services as well. I think the first thing that I learned is how much hard work. The skills that you learn, different techniques, Washburn makes available to you. That's a lot of uh, what I've been learning here. What has been the biggest thing that you've learned here at Washburn that you didn't know when you were just cooking at home? I'm learning just how much it takes to actually run a restaurant, how to open a restaurant, the business side of the house. You actually finished up in December and you're graduating in May. Congratulations. Thank you. Now, what do you hope to do once you graduate? Yeah, right now I'm working over at RPM State and in the summer I'll be leaving to Orlando to work for Disney World, so. So I see we've got food here. Let's see your culinary skills. Hopefully you can teach me a few techniques. Are you ready? I'm ready. Right. I think so. As ready as I am going to be. Right, let me get you an apron. So I don't eat a lot of fish, but a lot of my friends do. And I hear it's pretty quick and easy to cook. So I'm looking for a go-to fish recipe that I can make and really impress people so they think I do this all the time. All right. So. For some of the garnish items, I kind of want you to work out on that. All right, simple asparagus, simple asparagus technique. So we're going to eat asparagus raw, real easy, knife techniques, rocking back and forth. I'm not doing the rocking technique, but I think it's coming out about the same. What I'm going to do over here, though, I already got the pans hot, so I'm going to sear off the salmon, skin side down, get a nice crispy skin on it. So you want to hear that sear, right? So while that's cooking, I'm going to get the collars. That's an easy mix. We got salt and pepper. So this is done? Yeah. Okay. That looks quick. Salmon qu cooks quick. This is coho salmon. So took it off the heat. Um, it'll cook through. I'll just reheat the, um, the pickled daikon and we're good to go. Down the salmon. Yeah. We get a little bit of the oranges and the, I mean the kumquats and the asparagus and the celery. It. Beautiful. Now somebody is going to have to be really special for me to ever make this. Maybe my mom or something. I might make this for her. Basically what you've had is you've, uh, you have your pan seared salmon with your sauteed uh, garlic collard greens and your um, braised daikon. So of course I can't make this and then not try it. Oh my God. Amazing. <laughs> Thanks for sharing this recipe with me. Now, if you want to hone in on your culinary skills, of course, you can come and enroll at Washburn and learn from the best Chef Murray right here. Or of course, you can just come and eat at their restaurant and they're open Wednesday through Friday. Make reservations because it gets crowded. All the information is on their website.